My instructions from the president were very clear. Veterans Affairs Secretary Robert Wilkie joined President Trump in the White House briefing room Wednesday to explain how his department is mobilizing to fight the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, we plan for that every day. We are gaming out emergency preparedness scenarios, and we, we stand ready when the president needs us to expand our mission. Although the VA's health care department primarily takes care of veterans, it's also been used to backstop the public health care sector during times of crisis. We are the stopgap. We are the emergency civilian response force. In an interview with Newsy, Wilkie said the department has 3,000 medical staff who can be deployed to areas overwhelmed by the virus. But to get those resources, state governors first need to ask the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services for help. And Wilkie says so far, no one's called for those resources yet. We haven't seen what the states have asked because they haven't asked yet. But um, we stand willing and able, as we always do, uh, in the case we are called upon. As for its primary mission, the VA says it's administered over 300 tests among veterans nationwide. So far, 44 veterans have been presumed positive for the virus, and one has died from it.